Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here with a fun build a booth for July 4th. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's banner dies along with their um, God Bless America stamp set, the Happy 4th of July stamp set, Gnome dies patriotic add-ons, star dies, and the build a booth die set. So first I'm starting with a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock cut at 4.25 by five and a half inches. That's the same size as an A2 size card base. I'm stamping, doing some freehand stamping on a piece of foam and I'll use some acrylic blocks. There we go. And I'm going to stick those down and I'll do some stamping with these little fireworks. So I'm using Ink on 3's uh, Juicy Ink. Um, so I'm going to sort of randomly stamp. You can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm adding this clear sticky ink to my background. And I'm planning on doing some clear heat embossing. So I started with that, then I'm moving on to Lumberjack Plaid. And I'm going to add a few of that one, just for fun, just making sure I have good coverage because I am freehand stamping, right? It's not the same as uh, a Misty. There we go, so I got two of those. And then I'm pulling out Blueprint Sketch in Distress Oxide Ink. And I'm going to stamp with the largest firework. Remember that uh, Distress Oxide Ink stays wet a little bit longer because it has a pigment in there. Um, so you can heat emboss it. There we go, so just adding a few. And then that's that. So now I'm going to cover the whole thing and Simon says stamp clear embossing powder. Just going to pick it up with my reverse tweezers. Just want to get good coverage, make sure that it's all grainy, right? So I'm just going to scoop up some more and make sure that it's covered really well. Now, not a lot of this background is going, going to show. You saw that there's some, there were some um, accidents on the back of that paper. Remember, there are two sides to every piece of paper. So now I'm melting this embossing powder with my Marvi heat tool. And I know you can't really see it because you sort of see my heat tool more, but that's what I'm doing. So I just want to make sure that my um, embossing powder um, goes from being gritty to shiny. And now I'm going to take um, Distress Oxide Ink in Chipped Sapphire. And I'm just using a blending brush. I think it's a Tailored Expressions blending brush, actually, that one. And I'm just going to cover the entire piece with that. Now, this does not have to be perfect. I'm making a night sky. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Now I'm going to pull in Distre or Distress Oxide Ink in Black Soot. And I'm going to heavily ink around the, the edges. There we go, and I'm just sort of, you know, I'm working on a Stampin' Up pad. You can see I have a dirty sheet of paper underneath me. And I'm just really ink blending around the edges. There we go. Now, like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to pull that chipped, fire, chaff, chipped sapphire distress oxide ink in again. And I'm just going to, you know, overlap the edges a little bit and ink blend. Now I'm going to grab a microfiber towel and just sort of wipe off what's sitting on top of my embossing. And then you can see the white fireworks that show, right? And then the red and the blue, obviously. Now I'm pulling out Distress Paint in Picket Fences and I'm using a splat box from Simon Says Stamp. And I am using a fan brush also from them and I'm just sort of flicking on some of this paint. Now this is permanent paint. You're gonna to wanna to clean it up right away, but I'm just sort of adding some stars to my background. That's what I'm going for. Doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of this will be covered up by my booth. Okay, so now this is the top piece of the booth that's cut into cut in paper uh, tray ink white cardstock. And I'm going to use my Misty and stamp a sentiment from that stamp set, um, God Bless America. There we go. And I'm going to be using Distress Oxide ink to stamp this. I'll be using um, the Distress Oxide ink and Blueprint Sketch. That's the nice thing. I love Distress ox Oxide inks, great to blend, and you can also stamp with them. So it's just, it's fabulous. There we go. So celebrate the red, white, and blue. That's going to be my sentiment. And I do stamp it a few times. That's what's great about a Misty, right? You can keep stamping. You don't wanna to press too hard though. Press slightly and you can stamp multiple times. And there we go, isn't that cute? 
Okay, and then on the inside, I'm going to stamp um, Happy July 4th. And I'm just using my um, Simon Says Stamp Acetate Sheet. It's like a grid acetate sheet, just to line up my stamp so I can pick it up with my Misty, and then I can stamp and everything will be straight. And I'm using Lumberjack Plaid for the in inside sentiment this time. There we go. And that turned out pretty perfect. There we go. So that is a piece of Paper Terrain white cardstock, 4.25 by 11. Now I'm putting together my Build-A-Booth die. So first I cut everything out of, um, let me see, this is Paper Terrain craft cardstock, and I'm using my ATG tape. So I'm just going to add the all the little pieces. Uh, for the little nail heads or screw heads, I did tape them in from behind with a little bit of scotch tape, just making sure that they stay in place. So that's why they're not falling out. So I'm going to use the large you know, wood plank and I'm going to apply one to the top and one to the bottom. There will be a little gap in the middle and I'll use the skinnier plank to fill that. And I'm going to kind of put it on an angle. You can see the scotch tape that I have holding those little holes in. And I'm gonna put it at an angle just for some fun. Make sure it's covering what I want it to cover. And there we go. And now I'm going to put together, um, first of all, I, put, I cut out um, from Gnome Dye's Patriotic Add-ons. This is this little Uncle Sam hat. Cut out of Doodlebug's, uh, what's this called? Doodlebug's Sweetheart cardstock. Sorry, guys. Then I cut out this little strap here, this little white hat band in Paper Tray Ink. And then I cut this little blue pattern. This is from the Land That I Love six inch pad from Doodlebug. So I'm gonna pop that on. Oh, you know what? That might not be the Land That I Love. That actually might be from Rainbow Petite Prints and Dot Stripe. I use Rainbow Petite Prints, Gingham Linen and Dot Stripe in this video as well. So now I'm adding on the stripes, those were cut with white paper train cardstock. I'm using my reverse tweezers to get them in place. And um, Barely Art glue, which I'm liking. And like I said, all my die cutting today was done with my Gemini. So this little blue banner piece was cut from, um, from that land that I love, six inch pad from Doodlebug. And then the little, little uh, I don't know if it's plaid. I guess it's kind of plaid. That red plaid, um, those that was also cut from that same pad. And I just have it alternating, right? Then I cut out three banners from, um, you know, from that, um, what's it called? Sweetheart cardstock from Doodlebug. And then um, the Rainbow Petite Prince dot stripe. That's the blue. And then just white paper uh, from Paper Tray Ink. And that's what I'm working with here using the exact same things, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to fill in the dots on this little banner with dots, which is kind of fun. And I'm just going to alternate these dots, you know, just make it look a little bit different, right? And I'm going to decorate the booth with all of these little banners. Because if you wanna make your build, -a you can make your build a booth anything. I'm choosing to make something for July 4th right? Which is lots of fun. And you can certainly do that just by pulling in the red, white, and blue. So I'm adding on all these little dots, which is fun. There we go. And then I will decide where all these little banners are going to go. Now we've got this star banner that is from the banner die set. And that is cut from that same sweetheart uh, doodlebug cardstock. And I'm going to be adding in this blue is from that six inch pad from Doodlebug Land that I love. And then I will add the white paper tray ink card stock um, star. I said heart, I meant star. <laughs> there we are. And then I'm just going to fill these all in and make it look nice. I love all the stitching. It makes it look really dimensional when you add those layers on. You could certainly certainly have used it without the layers. That would look fun too. But I think the layers just add something. 
So I'm just sort of applying these willy-nilly. They don't have to be perfect. And then I'll be able to decorate my booth with them. There we go. So isn't that fun? So it just cries out patriotic. Now I'm pulling out my 3M foam tape and I'm going to pop up that little um, sign or sentiment using my 3M foam tape. I will trim it down a little bit just to make it fit. There you have that, all right. And I'll stick that down. I'm using my EK Success scissors just to trim that off. Then I'll peel the backs off and stick this. And I like to always have it at an angle. That's just me. Okay, so now I'm going to cover up these little nail heads on this sign with the little tiny stars that you get. And there we are, so I'm just going to add them. And they look kind of fun, right? In that same doodlebug cardstocks again and pattern paper that I mentioned. I'm using my Studio Catty on Belgium and wanted to pick them up. So now I'm going to add this little banner onto the top of my card. And I'm going to use my reverse tweezers just to hold them in place while the glue dries. That Barely Arts glue, which I'm really liking. I really like the needle tip. I'll just let that dry. And now I'm going to apply some of these um, streamers to the back so they show through the booth. So I'm just going to put glue on either end and stick it down. So that's that same Sweetheart cardstock from Doodlebug. And then this one is Paper Trank White cardstock. You can cut them to whatever light, length you like. There we have, there you go. And I'm just trying to see how this all looks together. So I've got my little stars. I've got these little dots. I think it's lots of fun. Kind of looks like July 4th kind of threw up all over this booth, right? But, you know, it's fun. Decorating's fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look festive. So I'm just sticking that, that one down there. Super fun. And then I'm going to pop up the heart or the little... Keep saying, wanting to say hearts. I'm going to pop up the little stars with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And then that'll give that a little bit of dimension, which is always good. I think it adds a lot to a card. So we're just going to stick that down. Reverse tweezers is awesome for that kind of job. And now I'm going to score my card base. Because I stamped it first, I had to think about where I want to score it. <laughs> so I'm scoring it at five and a half inches with my Teflon bone folder and my Martha Stewart scoreboard. There we go. And then I will reinforce that fold with that Teflon bone folder. I love that. I love the Teflon bone folder. I should have had that. I think that's one of my must-have supplies. Now I'm going to add some ATG tape down and I'm going to add a one inch strip of paper from that six inch pad from Doodlebug Len that I love. And I'm just adding it right to the bottom. And then I'm going to trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. And there we go. I don't know if you send out cards for 4th of July. I'm Canadian, so, you know, it'd be kind of silly for me to send them out. But, <laughs> but um, you know I, know, I know that people have parties and they want to send something as a thank you. Or you could make a thank you, um, you know, July 4th themed card. Lots of fun. And if you're Canadian, you could just make this red and white and, you know, design your own hat because we also have a maple leaf dye. We can make it work. So there we go. So now I'm adding some tape to the front of my card base and I'm going to add my background that I made. There we are. And then I'll just trim off. The, it's a little bit shy of the size of the card base. So I do trim it off with a pair of scissors. So now I am adding on this star that was cut from that land that I love six inch pad and these star dies from Jada Blossom. There we go. I'm going to add the center that's cut out of that sweetheart uh, cardstock from Doodlebug. And now I'm just going to rescore that. And now I'm going to I'm thinking what I'm going to do here. So I've got to put my glue back in. I'm not even sure what I was doing at this point, but I stopped, I kept taping while I was fussing, fussing around. 
But anyway, um, I don't know if you send out July 4th cards, but there are so many great stamp, set of J stamp sets at Jada Blossom that you can use to do that. So there we go. I am adding some ATG tape to the back of this super cute booth to apply it to my card. And I'm going to line it up on the bottom. And I'm going to have it so nothing's kind of overhanging my card. So there we go. So we've got some fireworks in the background. I want to kind of perch the hat kind of on the booth. So I'm going to use some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals to do that. So lots of fun stuff. Like I said, Jada Blossom has so many different stamp sets and die sets that you can literally make this booth any theme that you want. Now, obviously, they come out with some great Build-A-Booth add-ons, which are adorable. Um, you could also use the um, gnome add-ons. You could add a gnome to this. That would be super cute as well. But I thought I'd just stick to the booth and show you you can decorate this booth any way you like. So I'm going to stick this down on top of that booth, kind of cattywampus there at an angle, with my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals and some Barely Art glue. So I'm quite liking how that turned out. I'm going to use these leftover pieces of streamers for the inside. So I'm going to have one coming from the left and I'm going to end it in a star. And then I'll have one coming from the right. Now these stars are from the banner dies. It's one of my favorite sets. I use it all the time. I love the hearts and I love the, the stars. Trimming off the overhang with a pair of scissors. This is Paper Trank white cardstock now. And then I'm going to stick that little star down. So just to add a little something, something on the inside. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And hopefully you will follow me and Jada Blossom on their YouTube sites. Thanks everybody. See you soon. Bye.